This is actually a piece of terracotta clay pipe. This is some of the oldest type of material that we run into. Uh, if you notice, this piece actually has roots growing out of it. And that's how these end up being destroyed over time is by tree roots most of the time. Uh, so this is a piece of terracotta clay. This is something that you would find in some of your older towns in say Pittman, New Jersey, Haddonfield. Uh, those older towns like that would have pipe like this. This is a piece of orange bird pipe, very prevalent in Deptford Township, places in Mantua. Uh, it was installed in the late 60s, mid 70s. It's actually perforated cardboard is really just about what it is. We replace a lot of this type of pipe. Usually it will rot right out the bottom and it'll oval out. I don't know if you can see it, but it's supposed to be round. And over time it gets almost completely flat and we can't clear it with a drain cleaning machine. It has to be replaced. This is what we replace all the piping with is PVC uh, plastic piping. Schedule 40 PVC cellular core pipe. Um, it's got a good wall thickness. It's very smooth inside, so water just flows right through it. And when it's installed properly, it'll last for a long, long time. So we talked about the sewers and what the material was and things we run into. So now I want to talk about the water services that we replace. Uh, these are pipes, once again, that are coming from the street into your home. And believe it or not, this is a galvanized water service. This was supplying someone's home. We ripped it out and we replaced it with new piping. And as you can see, I don't think I'd want to be drinking any water out of that. That's what they look like. Um, they're only iron, they're steel pipe. And eventually, they'll start to leak. Another type of material that we run into that we replace is copper. Uh, copper co comes in a coiled roll like this. It would be rolled out into the trench and they would use uh, flared fittings to connect it together. And over time, this copper wall thickness gets thin and you'll get pinholes in it or it will leak from the joints. So oftentimes we'll replace this. Now what we replace all these water services with is this type of pipe, which is poly pipe. It has a nice thick wall thickness. It's fairly flexible. We install it with a tracer wire so that you can locate it with a locator above, gr above ground after it's backfilled. And it joins together with brass fittings called MAC fittings. And these MAC fittings are compression type fittings. They have a nut and they slide on like that with a gasket. And this particular fitting has a male end on it, which could thread into a valve. That just kind of gives you a good feel for the types of material that we run into, what we replace, and what we replace it with. Please visit us on the web at pickaccurate.com. Pick us, pickaccurate.com.